Hello everyone. Welcome to the episode number 66 of Q&A series with Suresh GP. Today, we are going to talk about an important topic, which is how to become a trusted advisor in 60 minutes. Remember, if you are a business relationship manager, you only get one chance to make an impact with your business partners. If you have not looked at my previous episodes on the different roles capabilities, I would definitely encourage you to look at the previous questions that I've handled as part of business relationship management. Now, if you look at as a business partner, every business partner is focusing on making their portfolio look good. So the first and foremost thing that you will have to go when you meet your business partner is to go with that mindset of becoming that strategic partner. Remember, you can leverage the business relationship maturity model from the BRM Institute and ask them this is and explain them how these uh, layers go from ad hoc, order taker, service provider, trust advisor and strategic partner and help them to understand the vision of where you want to reach as a goal. You also have to have done a basic ground exercise to go and check with your business functional goals. That's your second aspect. The third aspect is to explain to them what this BRM role, discipline and capability is. Because frankly speaking, there are too many moving parts to get things done. So if you are playing the role of a strategic BRM, are you going to look at the end-to-end -end value chain in the form of orchestration and enable the business outcomes? So focus on key responsibilities, capabilities and outcomes. You also have to make sure that you insist that you are not a single point of contact but more about single point of focus that you own the piece but you will have your rest of the team help you achieve that goal. Number five is to focus on value management and value optimization. Because if you don't start defining the value at the first point of moving in that direction, chances are that your business partner is not excited about it. Now you also have to be very careful that this conversation will only ring a bell when you are dealing with a strategic business partner. The next aspect of the sixth point is to look at telling them, I want to be a strategic partner, but it will take some time. So setting realistic expectations is very important with your business partner. Seven, ask for three year business strategies in terms of lines of business and see how you can be a part of the overall chain. This could mean there are various initiatives that are being driven and you can be a part of the initiative and see how you can enable that in achieving the overall goal. Number eight, focus on demand shaping. As you have seen in my previous episode, it is not being playing a role of an order taker. You should start telling your business partner of which initiatives that they have to invest that will deliver the most value. Finally, you should establish a good communication plan because at the end of the day, if your communication is not continuous in different modes that your business partner asks, they are going to be lost in the overall scheme of things. It's absolutely imperative to keep your business partner up to date and have a regular review mechanism. So it could be a weekly cadence, it could be a monthly cadence, depending on what is most ideal to get to your business partner. Remember, every conversation with your business partner should add value. Otherwise, they are not going to give you an opportunity to uh, talk. Finally, be respectful of their time and also be always focused on how you can help them in their journey. Sometimes it might also require you to do some tactical work, but don't get completely bogged into the tactical work because at the end of the day we are here to serve the business partner i hope these nine ideas that we have listed could help you 
to become a trusted advisor in 60 minutes. And I hope you can start leveraging it from day one and see the benefits for yourself. I would love to hear from you of how has been your experience to become a trusted advisor and let me know in your comment section of the future questions that you would like me to answer as part of Q&A series. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified on the upcoming series of business relationship management. Thank you very much.